from the Moonraker Mudlarks and today we've come out to one of our favourite tips uh, having a little scratch around and see if we can find any gems and beauties to show you so let's get hunting so a quick round up so far Dave's picked up this beautiful bottle unfortunately it does have a crack on it but L Roses and Co Limited some gorgeous embossing on there that would look so lovely with a bottle light in it uh, Elements Embrocation oh I found a old jug missing its its handle but never mind uh, a few other things that we've picked up milk glass lid glass lid i think that would have been a kilner it's got the metal bit around it still um yesterday dave and dan were on a mini bottle competition and i've now decided to join it little glass dish schweppes bottle Lots of other little things here. An Art Deco style bottle with its cap still on it. Oh my God. And Dave's just found something. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. What's that? Local beer, embossed. Oh wow. Oh, that's lush. Lamb Brewery from Ooh. Froome. Oh my goodness. At last, we've got a, a beer which is complete and embossed. Oh, I think that probably is a star find today, star don't you? Already. Yeah, it's always Dave. I'm completely off my form at the moment. Scratching around, getting the rubbish, and him and Dan were getting all the good finds yesterday. Oh, I love that blue glass. Oh, I haven't shown that yet. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so we'll bring you back. Just found this tiny little bottle and on boss there is lots of chemistry. So that'll be coming home with us today. A present for you. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Plastic, but... No, I love it. What else is that? This uh, oh, farmer's wife, double Devon cream. It still has got the cream in it. Yeah, that's disgusting. Well, it's cheese now. It's got its cheese. <sighs> Never look. Should we, should we have a whip? No. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Go have a good sniff. Go on. <laughs> no, that's bad. Oh. <laughs> It's like someone done a fart in that You jar. can have that in your bag, yuck. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Dave uncovered this little bottle here. <sighs> little green one. This one here. Lovely little shape. And there's just a few things I've picked up along the way. Spot the find. Oh my god. Just digging over this area, there is something blue right there. And it's whole. Yes! Oh, oh. What's that? The Euro Mill. Oh, I haven't seen one like that, but look at the colour of that. Awesome find. Jackie's going to be well sorted. Go and show her. So I thought I'd come and have a little look over here. See what the bottle diggers have left. I'm not very good at this digging malarkey. I get too bored. I'm not very good at finding all the rich seams that the bottle diggers are on about, so kind of scratch about a bit and then get bored. It's over here. Ooh. Broken. 
so I'll be staying behind. The Cooperative Wholesale Society Limited. And it says CWS on the other side. An old milk bottle. Lots of paste jars. Everywhere paste jars. Always paste jars. Oh wow. Well, my hope of this being um, complete isn't very high. Otherwise it wouldn't be there. But you never know. Let's see. Get off fine. What do you think? It's broken. Bugger. Never mind. What's this I can see? Stevenson's Stevenson brother furniture cream. I've got one of these before already so I'll be leaving that here. Oh, lots of lovely old bottles. Oh that's still got his lid on it. Oh, probably a salad cream. Oh, I might take that back just to see if I can find out a bit about it actually. What else do we have? Let me see. Oh, that's got something on it. Lambert Pharmaceutical Company. And I've just noticed. Oh, goodness me. Another Kilner jar. That's coming home definitely coming home so we've got a smaller lid that Dave found. Awesome. They won't fit in there. Will you fit in there? Just. <laughs> oh, let's see what else we can find. Just find a little red bead. You find some really strange stuff when you're on these tip larks. Blimey. It's the find time. Yes! A vulcanite in the neck. Here we go. Yes. Clean it off. And it says. What does that say? Focus. Clean it off a bit more on the. What does that say? Oh, George's Bristol. George's Bristol. Falcon Eye. Brilliant. On to the next one. Hi, guys. Just had a little dick about. Bit of a scratch about in this hole here. And I found this one. Which is, I would say, very 1930s type of bottle. This is a screw top. There's no writing on it, but what a lovely shape. So that'll be coming home. And then I found this one. And it says, Wheat Products Bradford. Same on there, Wheat Products. Screwed up again, but I haven't seen one like that before. So that's coming home as well. Let's see what's next. Look at this lovely bit of teapot there which is so pretty and it has got another little bit but I just think it's too broken to mend so that'll be staying here which is such a shame and I think this is a little compact case yeah a couple of little bottles an A1 sauce but we've got loads of those <laughs> and an old suet I think isn't that enamel Dish. It's got a nice hole in the bottom though, so that can stay. Yeah, so what else is here? Been a nice teapot in its day as well. But smashed. So slim pickings on the dump today. It is a bit warm. So I think we're going to go home, clean up our finds, 
and I'll put a video together. Literally just come across these on our way out and I think they were abacus beads. Have a look when we get back. Hello and welcome to our roundup. And here in front of you, you can see a few of our finds from our latest larking adventure. This little bracelet I found, I didn't film, but I found this when we first of all arrived at the tip. Possibly fell off of the wrist of another tip larker, maybe. I don't think it's very old. Here's that lovely, jolly little fish that Dave found. I think possibly from the 1940s. Here's a lovely milk glass lid. One day I may find a lid and a jar together. Here's the porcelain jug that I found. Have to find it to another handle maybe so I can mend it. And here's that lovely bottle. Reminds me of a tower from the United States. I always want to say the Empire State Building, but I think it's the other one. And on to a few of the other little beauties. Here's my two little miniature bottles I found. They don't have any embossing on them. Here you can see um, the Lambert Pharmaceutical Company bottle with that embossed in front of it. And I found out that the company was founded in 1885 by Jordan W. Lambert and that was in St. Louis, Missouri. <clears throat> um, the headquarters remained in St. Louis um, and the Lambert Company was set up in 1926 as a holding company and in 1955 the company merged with Warner Hudnut Incorporated then it was dissolved in 2000 after being acquired by Pfizer Incorporated um, this bottle would have contained Listerine I'll show a picture of um, an advert for that after this clip On the list is this lovely little vulcanite that says George's of Bristol. So George's of Bristol was a brewing company um, and had been brewing on the site since at least 1702. Isaac Hobhouse established a substantial porter brewery in the 1730s and was later joined by Philip George. George and Ricketts in 1816 registered um, as above in February 1888. The brewery closed in 1999. Some of the buildings still remain, but most of the brewery site has been redeveloped for housing and commercial use. This is a lovely little bottle that Dave found. Look at the beautiful blue. So Duramil um, was a well-known and well-tried medicine which had been used for years in hospitals and clinics for the speedy relief of pain caused by rheumatism, fibrositis, lumbago and gout. And this bottle probably came from the 1920s. And I do have um, an advert for Duramil to follow this clip. We haven't cleaned the inside of the jar because I didn't want to ruin the lid. So as you can see, um, it says CMB, which is Cross and Blackwell. Um, this would have contained salad cream. Um, and apparently, uh, Cross and Blackwell um, is synonymous with mayonnaise in South Africa. Um, the brand has British roots and goes back as far as 1706, but the familiar name was only adopted in 1830. 
I do have an advert which shows you a very similar shaped bottle which will follow this clip but please excuse the gunk inside the bottle. Next up is this absolutely gorgeous beer, Lamb Brewery of Froom. So this was founded in 1850 and was registered in May 1893. Um, it merged with Froom United Breweries Limited in 1955. Um, and um, the brewery buildings have long been demolished um, but the adjacent malting survived but has been converted to other uses. I will show you some lovely pictures of some Lamb Brewery beer labels after this clip. And this tiny little bottle here says Lost Lots Chemistry. After doing a little bit of detective work, I believe this came from a chemistry set, which uh, was for children. I'll show you an advert for that after this clip. Now here's a bottle we've got that says Wheats Products Company of Bradford. Now, a Google search didn't really come up with anything with those specific words. It's obviously a sauce bottle, so if anybody knows what type of sauce would have been in here, please comment below. And last but not least is the glass lid that I found. I'm still getting the metal off of the side of it, as you can see. And the tiny little kilner jar that I... Was, I found as well and I did a feature on Kilner in a couple of videos ago they're lovely so that's the end of our roundup I hope you enjoyed the video guys again thank you so much for your support and for your likes and whoever subscribed please if you're watching this video for the first time consider subscribing to our channel it's free um, and again, um, I really hope that you enjoyed our mudlark. So catch you on the next adventure. Bye